All right, so for section A, what we are going to be doing is substitution. And substituting a value. So question one starts off with c squared is e, whoops, excuse me, c squared minus 4c plus 3. And then they also tell us that c is equal to negative 4. Now the key thing that we're doing here is wherever you see c, make sure you put in parentheses. And then inside this equation, you're going to re be replacing both of those c's with this negative 4. It's just going to come and go inside of both of those. So I rewrite this as negative 4 quantity squared minus 4 times negative 4 plus 3. And my first term, my negative 4 squared, that is just equal to 16. Now here, this is saying this is a negative 4 times a negative 4. A negative times a negative gives me my positive 16 plus 3. And I add that all together to get a uh, 35. Question 2 is very similar but only with question two. Now we have several, several different variables. I am given the statement that I have 10a plus 6b plus 7c. And then I am also told that a is equal to 4, b is equal to negative 5, and c is equal to 3. And again, remember, Think of all of these as being parentheses. That's probably the biggest advice I can give you when you're putting those in. So now I rewrite this as 10, parentheses, A is 4, plus 6 times B, which is negative 5, plus 7 times 3. And again, always put those in parentheses. So I am left with 10 times 4 which is 40, and then I have 6 times negative 5, which is a negative 30, and lastly, I have 7 times 3, which is 21. I add that all together, and 40 minus 30 is 10, plus 21 gives me my final answer of a 31. And again, the biggest thing about when you're using substitution, whenever you replace the variable, make sure you put it inside parentheses.